Good Sunday morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday with Spirit. For those joining us for the first time, welcome. This is not a political poll. This is a spiritual poll. Every Sunday, a group of us come together and we play on the web of creation. I like to think of it as a spider web. And as we vocalize our thoughts, as we jump up and down with our actions, with our voice, it vibrates throughout the web and affects everything, everything that is on the web of creation. And this morning, possibly because it's raining again out here. I was thinking, I got an image of a drop of dew on the web. And I thought, what if I took a drink from that drop? And then I thought, what if I was the drop? Hmm. What if we are the nourishment on the web of creation? Each one of us, which I think is true. So today is a huge religious significance to those of the Christian faith. Happy Easter to you all. And Many of you know that I was raised as a Catholic, and I've seen how there are good and bad attributes with that. The teachings, the, the teachings of Jesus, the, the Christ consciousness, is a lot different than the teachings of organized religions. My younger brother put up a post on Facebook about he asked, uh, somebody was asking a rabbi why God created atheists. And the rabbi thought and said, well, it's to show what man can do, and, and I'm paraphrasing. You can see it on the Facebook page if you want. But he said, when an atheist does something with compassion, he's doing it because he wants to. It's not because somebody told him to do it. So I was just thinking about this, this whole thing. What if we were the nourishment on the web of creation? What if we were the higher vibration, which we are? But what if people in our little community, in our little world, looked up to us for leadership in this way? How would we do it? So I want to try to be a little simple with this. And I said, try, so I might fail. And I said, might, so uh, here we go. Um, I've got the Sacred Path cards for, this is the Earth Grounding type cards. This is what we do on the planet. And then I have the Galactic Heritage, which is still part of the planet, but goes into space. And then I have the Return of Spirit, which is just vibration energy. I've also pulled Angel Tarot cards. I cannot pronounce the names, um, so we're just going to go with the tarot on this. As we are facing this, this Sunday with all this change, with the lunar eclipse leaving, with the solar eclipse coming, with things shifting and moving, if we were 
if we were the drop of water on the web, what's some of the messages that we might drink in, what we might share? Okay, I hope that was clear. The first card I got is the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, good, good, good. This is a new beginning. So when we drink that, when we are that drop, it's new beginnings. A new way, a new project. Certainly you can put this into the Christ consciousness, um, into the Buddha, when they, uh, uh, and so many others, when they came to terra firma, new beginning, new project. Wow. Death. Rebirth. So when I read tarot, a lot of times when I look at this death card, I immediately go to rebirth. It is letting go of the old. It is bringing the new in. The new in with the Ace of Pentacles. The next card I got, and I pulled two by mistake. Well, and it's not by mistake, but two came out by good fortune. And this is um, the Ten of Pentacles, which is good fortune, which is family, being um, secure in what we are doing, what we have built. And I think about the rider weight with this, and I see the, the elderly gentleman, um, hopefully gentleman, looking at his uh, family, and the family seems to be having a little argument or a little conversation, and the father figure just lets him at it. Go ahead, figure this out. He's not involved, but he's there as support, I guess. And the bonus card is the Queen of Pentacles, the Divine Feminine. Now, some people can think, um, can there's other cards that relate to the Divine Feminine that just spoke to me just now. All queens are divine feminine. Um, even in, in male bodies, when we get in touch with the feminine side, the divine feminine, we have more of a balance. So with this tarot spread, with this time that we're in right now, we're going towards a new beginning, but we have to let go of something, which could be a little painful with this death card, but it's a rebirth of family and a rebirth of getting back in touch with that divine feminine. And for those who have been on my channel a lot, I, uh, or in the past, I talk about that a lot, that we are shifting towards that divine feminine more and more in that um, divine masculine, <laughs> he's hanging on. He's like, no, no. I want to be in control. And the divine feminine is going, yeah, you never really were. All right. <clears throat> Sacred path cards. Let's see what they have to say about this time, about this Sunday, if we were the drop of water on the web of creation. Whew. Standing people, roots, giving. Wow. Wow. When we look at trees, we see them as individuals. When we go beneath the surface, we see the community of communication with the roots. 
we see the nourishment um, coming from Mother Earth through the roots, grounding through the roots, and sharing information back and forth. We're getting more and more of an understanding how plants communicate. When I grew up, it was the only person, I mean, the only things that could think were humans. And now we're realizing that the only people who can think in limited ways are humans. I mean, it's just backwards. Anyway, anyway, not to go there. Next card, Coral Nurturing. That drop of water on the web of creation, nurturing. And this is about, the, the card says coral. I think coral reefs. I think of the, the damage that we are doing to the coral reefs with our um, warming waters. And a lot of it is our... Um, dependence on comfort, perceived comfort. Cars and things like that, I guess. Perceived comfort. Oh, we need to get there fast. Really? Maybe we need to get there slower. But the coral getting back to the ocean, getting back to the nourishment of water. Wow, wow, wow. And the last card in the, this row. Well, we get change, the rites of passage. We, we get in both the, the angel card tarot and this, there is a comfort, a comfort, a comfort change. And which card stands out the most? Death, rebirth, change? Are those the ones that um, I feel a little more anxious about? Yeah, why? I mean, we have two cards, roots giving, nurturing, but this is the change. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, do I want that? Yes, <laughs> we do, but we're still hanging on. Feels like, to me, anyway, it's just my in interpretation. And please, your interpretations are, are welcome in the comments. As we move up to the galactic, what is the galactic nourishment of that drop of water? Renewed hope. Ooh. The Zeta Reticuli. Renewed hope. Zetas are interest. Ooh, another one. Returning the favor. Wow. Renewed hope. Returning the favor. Let's kick one more up. Seeking karmic balance. Hmm. This drop of water, as we drink it in, as we are it, we are offering renewed hope, returning the favor. And I think it's all about nourishing and giving. Seeking karmic balance is the change. Wow. And the Zetas, just to give you a little um, background on these cards... The Zetas were at a point in their history where their population was dying off. And they were using, it, it, it mirrors where we are right now in so many different ways. Using AI, using um, a, changing DNA to try to fix things. And the humans came in and helped 
the Zetas. And now the Zetas are back to help us on this earth, returning the favor, seeking karmic balance. That drop of water. Wow. What does the drop of water have to say in spirit? If we return of spirit to spirit, rejuvenation. Okay, I understand that with one. You know, what, sometimes when you drink water and it's like, oh man, I'm really thirsty, and you and you start drinking some water and you just fill it in every cell of your body as it goes down. Wow. Rejuvenation. But because we are in this higher realm, invisible realm, a lot of time, especially when we talk to spirit, it's all about a frequency shift. I hear um, nature sounds often, and I interpret that as light language, as shifting my DNA. Water does that too, shifts our DNA. What we think about with water, with this rejuvenation, um, really depends on our frequency shift and how we are grounded and what we are saying to ourselves, the nurturing, what we are saying to ourselves. If we are saying, I'm not worthy, I'm not this, I'm, I'm not tall enough, I'm not fast enough, short, tall, whatever, right? If we're disparaging ourselves and not nurturing ourselves, then our frequency shift is going to be, hmm, well, it's, it's not going to be where I want it. And that's the struggle. Here we go. And the last card. I don't even need to say anything. So on this Sunday, this holy day for so many, this holy day for the rest of us, because every day is a holy day. Every day should be treated with reverence, with importance. And the final card, every day we should seek to find the higher ground of love. All right, I will leave it at that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here on this beautiful Sunday. Can you see my little? There we go. Yeah, there it is. All right. Thanks again. Peace and love.